Joining a grid and starting a discussion has never been easier. All you have to do is visit info.flipgrid.com on any internet-enabled browser. Whether you're a future teacher or simply taking this course as part of your degree program, Flipgrid is the ideal tool for student engagement and formative assessment. After loading their website, click the Enter Flip Code to enter the code provided by your instructor. Once you have entered the flip code, click the next arrow. Clicking the plus sign will enable your web recording device. Keep in mind that this works the same way on the PC or mobile apps, which are available for Android and iOS. After clicking the plus sign, you will see a live preview of your screen. Basically, you're recording yourself. To record a response, you will click this big red camera icon down here. But as an option, you can also upload pre-recorded video, but it has to be in MPEG-4, MOV, or WebM video format. Another feature that I would like to highlight is the sticky feature, because you can use this as a teleprompter. You can type pre-recorded text in there, or you can just copy and paste the text for your script. Starting a recording is just as simple as hitting this uh, red camera icon down here and you will see the standard one two three countdown and you will start recording for one minute and 30 seconds once you're satisfied with your response you can click the next arrow to go to the next screen where you will be allowed to review your response but if you don't like what you have already recorded you can hit the trash icon and you can go back to the beginning and re-record your response again so that is a pretty nifty feature because you don't have to worry about it. You can record as many times as you want until you get it right. So that is a pretty nifty feature because you don't have to worry about it. You can record as many times as you want until you get it right. The next step is for you to take a selfie of yourself. So go ahead and look your best. Shoot your selfie. And then you are given the option to decorate yourself with stickies or drawings, but that is an optional step. It's not actually mandatory or necessary for what we're doing here. The last step is where you will enter your personal information, email, and the title for the topic discussion. You can also include a URL link if required by your instructor. Once you have completed filling out this information, click the submit video button. You will then see another window telling you that your video was successfully uploaded to Flipgrid and that it's now visible as a topic. Click the complete button and you will then be returned to the Flipgrid topic where you can see your response posted. I hope you enjoyed this video and have fun learning and collaborating with each other. Thanks.